very much. Let's get more now ahead of the debate in Parliament this afternoon to discuss the government's decision to join the offensive in Syria at the weekend. We can speak now to the Labour peer and former head of the Royal Navy, Lord West. He joins us from our Westminster studios and thank you very much for your time this morning. Uh, you've been casting some doubt on what's been happening, the evidence uh, according to uh, our own Defence Secretary, according to President Macron of France and others, about what happened in Douma, saying that the evidence doesn't really fit well for President Assad ordering a chemical attack. Just tell us more about your, your thoughts on that, first of all. Yes, uh, President Assad is uh, in the process of winning this civil war, um, and he was about to take over and occupy Douma, all that area. He'd had a, a long, long, hard slog slowly capturing that whole area of the city. And there, just before he goes in and takes it all over, apparently he decides to have a chemical attack. It just doesn't ring true. It seems extraordinary because clearly he would know that there's likely to be a response from the, from the Allies. Um, what, what benefit is there for his military? Um, most of the uh, rebel fighters... Um, this disparate group of Islamists had withdrawn. There were a few women and children left around. What, what benefit was there militarily in doing what he did? I find that extraordinary. Whereas we know that in the past some of the Islamic groups have used chemicals and, of course, there would be huge benefit in them um, labelling an attack as coming from Assad because they would guess quite rightly that there would be a response from the US, as there was last time, and possibly from the UK and France. Is and it fair to say, though, that you're looking at this from the, point of, from the point of view of strategy and tactics rather than any evidence? Uh, absolutely, although we do know that the reports that came from there were from the White Helmets, who, let's face it, are not... Uh, are not neutrals, you know, they're very much on the side of the disparate groups who are fighting Assad, and also the World Health Organization doctors who are there. And again, those doctors are embedded uh, in amongst the groups, doing fantastic work, I know, but they're not, they're not neutral. And, and I am just a little bit concerned because as we now move to the next phase in this war, if I were advising um, some of the Islamist groups, many of whom are worse than Daesh, I would say, look, we've got to wait until there's another attack by... Assad's forces, uh, have, particularly if they have a helicopter overhead or something like that and they're dropping barrel bombs, and we must set off some chlorine because we'll get the next attack from the Allies. And there's no doubt that if we believe he's done a chemical attack, we should do that. Um, and those attacks will get bigger. And it is the only way they have got, actually, of stopping the inevitable victory of Assad. Are you saying that there may be something faulty with the intelligence, the proof that President Macron has said he has, uh, with the, to quote the Defence Secretary here, Gavin Williamson, the significant body of intelligence which suggests the Assad regime is responsible for what happened in Douma? Are you suggesting there may be faulty intelligence behind all of this? I think if it's saying it suggests it did it, I'm not sure that's strong enough. Um, uh, if they've got and I, I'm not privy to this, if they've got really good intelligence, let's say, for example, GCHQ or NSA intercepts of uh, Syrian officers discussing an attack and saying, yes, let's use chlorine, then, OK, fine, and I have no difficulty with what was done, none at all. I think if, if he has used chemical weapons, it's absolutely right to do a wrap across his knuckles to show him that the international community are not willing to put up with this, and it's right to do it. But I just wonder... You know, we've, we've had some bad experiences on intelligence. When I was Chief of Defence Intelligence, I had huge pressure put on me, politically, to try and say that our bombing campaign in, uh, in Bosnia was achieving all sorts of things, which it wasn't. I was put under huge pressure. So I know the things that can happen with intelligence, and I would just like to be absolutely sure. We, we know that the Russian Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov, said on Friday, or accused... Uh, a Western state on Friday of perhaps fabricating evidence in Douma or uh, somehow being involved with what happened in Douma. Given that we're in an information war uh, with Russia on so many fronts, do you think perhaps it's inadvisable to be stating this so publicly, given your, your position and your profile? Uh, isn't there a danger that you're muddying the waters? Well, I think, I, I think the answer is, if there's a real concern, if, let's face it, if he hasn't done it, then that is extremely bad news. You know, if he hasn't actually... If Assad hasn't carried out the attack, and I think it's just worth 
making that clear. I think our government's policy towards Assad has not been clever since 2013. To say we're not going to have anything to do with him, he's not the president, we're not going to have anything to do with him, is flying in the face of, of real politic, of facts on the ground. And he's a nasty, unpleasant, horrible person. There's no doubt about that. But the reality is he's there. And our policy of not, not talking to him almost has, if anything, prolonged this civil war. Do you have and concerns, though, about per, uh, giving war. credence, perhaps, to the Russians? Well, I have to say that the Russians talking about another power doing it is complete nonsense. And the Russians, I'm afraid, lie as a matter of policy. So I have no truck with that. But, and so I'm not paying attention to what they're saying, to be quite honest. It's just my concern. You know, militarily, it just seems extraordinary. And I don't think we can always rely on some of the reports that come from within these areas because it's not from neutral observers. But if you are right and an opposition group, a rebel group, did do this, then the Western nations who've been involved in these strikes have made a massive blunder, haven't they? And, and the implications are huge. Well, certainly, if, if that is the case, we've been duped. But these things happen in war. And, uh, you know, but I think, yes, we would have been duped. And I think we will learn a lesson from that because if it's done again, we'll be a little bit more careful. Um, but as I say, I, I hope against hope that they have got absolutely cast iron intelligence, in which case the action that was conducted was absolutely right to slap him across his wrist. There is no doubt Assad is a, is a loathsome man. There is no doubt in the past he has used chemical weapons. And there is a real danger of this creeping. Uh, acceptance of chemical weapons being used, uh, and, and that is a worry. So that, that's really the balance of how I put across my view. OK, Lord West, thank you very much. Thank you.